Hey guys, welcome back to another Pokemon, uh, yeah, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Water and Nuzlocke. So today, we're going to take on the 8th gym, and then we will probably go through Victory Road, because, uh, we have a lot of water type Pokemon, so I think we should be able to go through this gym uh, relatively quickly. I say that, and then the first Pokemon we fight is not even a... A ground type Pokemon. Oh, a Glacier. What? Oh, grab it. Iron Tail. We'll do it. Yeah, so I guess. I guess maybe. Uh, that one's a good Pokemon to have up front, but. It's another Ice type, so. Blaze, it should do fine. Fire Breath, one hit KO, a Sporlax, weird, so I guess that guy always had a Snorlax in, in the game there, which I find quite weird, but it's fine. But yeah, we finally leveled up Croc all the way up to like level 40 plus, that took a little bit, but it's fine, I mean, uh, he will prove himself very use useful. Oh, okay. Uh, he's glowing. I'm pretty sure that's Sky Attack, so... I'm just gonna go and fly up. Oh, never mind. Uh, crit with Ancient Power, then? Oh, okay, he was in the damage range. That was pretty... That's pretty good. Uh, so one weird thing uh, about Kra... So, Rock is physical, but Dragon is special. And this, uh... Special attack doesn't look too good, so it's okay. Though. I mean, um, levitate will more than make up for it when we actually fight a. I keep doing that. Terraligator. Okay. When we actually have to fight um, ground type Pokemon. Okay. Bullet Seed. Um, oh. Give him Choice Scarf. Well, after getting Choice Scarf, you're not doing that much damage to you. Alright, Skyhorn. Uh, this is no lean for that one. Surf. Easy. Another Crocodile to fight. Skyhorn once more. Alright. Put Chia out front. Heal her up real quick. The Karate King, your fate rests with me. Oh. Uh, okay, sure. Well, let's see another chop to fight. Mud choke. Not a mud champ or anything, bro. Oh, okay. Takeshi. Uh, oh, probably go that way then. Pokemon will be cornered. A uh, dragon type. Oh. A Soros. It's red. I don't I don't know what to expect from this actually. Uh we have not seen a Tauros yet. I'm assuming it's probably like a fire type, right? You would miss Hydro Pump. No, it's not. Okay, so... Wait. So is it a... Is it a water type then? It's really weird. It's either a water or ice type. If it's an ice type, it wouldn't make any sense to me, but... Huh. Interesting. Karate is the ultimate martial art. Oh, okay. Oh, that was easy. Right, and we only got one more trainer to fight. Uh, Verdian just said the gym was closed for a long time, but our leader is back. Um, you know, since he said that, it makes me wonder how much they actually know about their leader. Seeing as like he was gone for so long. And another thing, 
How would people get the 8th gym badge? Do they just... Were they just not able to get it for a really long time? Or... How did that work? Okay, Weedo King got down with one fly. That's really good. Skyhorn once again. We'll just use Mrs. Nolene for that one. Surf. Like La Fame. Okay. Samuel. Alright, and now it's time for us to make our way to the gym leader, it looks like. Hmm. So. Who would have thought, after all this time, Giovanni was the 8th gym leader? Hmm. I wonder who would have known indeed. But yeah. <laughs> Welcome to my house. It shall be... It shall be so until I restore Team Rocket to its former glory. You have found me yet again. So be it. This time I'm not holding back. Once more you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. Um, other than your Kangaskhan, you never gave me any trouble, my guy. I'm gonna be honest with you. That, that's not fair. This is what... This is what... Big Chungus could have been. Yeah, I knew it was going to use a ground type move, man. I did not want to take chances for that. Alright, that fissure. Oh my gosh. Um. Oh, well, I messed up. Such so Dragon Claw Bunch. Is it just going to keep using fissure? Oh my gosh. Right, he's got Hyper Potion. Because he has. He just has Fissure and Earthquake? Okay, Body Slam. Alright, good. I was, say, I was like, the one time you use Body Slam, you better not... Can he still heal? No, he can't. Okay. Blazing Crab? Okay, a Terra Cross. So... I think it's just a Bug Ground. So... I would have to use Mrs. Nolene for this. Actually, no, I can use Alan. Yeah, Alan's actually really good for this, actually. Just fly. Just fly, Alan. Oh my gosh, you... Counter? So if I don't hit this in one hit, Alan's gonna die. Good job, Al. Good job. <laughs> Stab was super effective. Uh, I was really hoping that'd be a one shot. But okay, so Swap Land. So this is probably the last evolution of a uh, Butt Kip, huh? So. So it's a Grass Ground. Okay. That's a really good typing. Oh, that's a really good sprite. See, I'm just gonna fly again, and then hopefully nothing happens. Rock Tomb. If that was Rock Slide, I think it'd be able to hit us from, uh, from us flying. Uh, I didn't expect Alan to be so much so good for this uh, for this gym. This uh, this gym also makes me think about how. Uh, Weak uh, blaze it is to ground types. All right, and this looks like the oh, dragon dance. Yeah, this is definitely supposed to be his ace Pokemon, Turali. Giga Drain. This should do a lot of damage. Oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna use Leap. Oh, Rock Slide. The dragon dance. Okay, so he can't can't one shot us, especially after his healing. He, he'll probably heal himself, right? Yep. Which means we're back to full HP. Well, almost full HP. Oh, another dragon dance. That is not good. All 
that rock slide again. Whew, and he didn't even flinch us either. Good job, Chia. Living it up. You couldn't have gotten that critical hit any time earlier? That's okay. Uh, Mud Champ. So we're going to switch out. Definitely don't want to use uh, our normal normal type on a uh, fighting type Pokemon. And this is his last Pokemon. Uh, hopefully Hydro Pump will be a one hit KO. And that's game. Says Jaden from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. <laughs> that was a truly intense fight. You have won. Here's the Earth Badge. Oh, and this is... I thought Brock was the only gym leader that actually gave you the Earth Badge... That gave you his badge during the fight. But Giovanni does too, it looks like. Uh, the Earth Badge makes Pokemon at any level obey you without question. It is evidence that your master is a trainer. With it, you can challenge the Pokemon. Also, take this TM for Earthquake. Powerful move. I made it when I ran the gym here for a, for a far lo too long ago. Having lost in this fashion, I can't fix my followers. I've betrayed their trust. As of today, Team Rocket is finished forever. As for myself, I shall dedicate to training my life again. Let us meet again someday. Huh? Okay. Alright, now I'm going to talk about how their gym leader left again. No? We need power to keep it without gym leader, not rock. Do you know the identity? Uh, it's literally his name. Giovanni was the gym leader? Yep. Um, and he <laughs> returned. He returned as quickly as he left. Alright, so. So let's see who do we want to bring with us. All right, because the thing is, let's see. We have an ice type Elite Four to fight, a fighting type, a ghost type, and then we have. Did I say ice type? What? Well, we have Ice, Fighting, Ghost, and then Dragon. And then we have to fight our rival. So... Well, this will be good for the Fighting type. You'll be good for the Ghost type. Because the thing is... As much as I love Blazik, he he's got a he's not as strong as Chie when it comes to like overall stats and moves. But I don't really think Kra is that good of a choice either. Just because of his his moves, maybe maybe if I taught him some moves, he'd be okay. But I think Stone Free Chie. Alan, Asta, Mrs. Nolene, and Juice are our best team members to take down this gym. Uh, to take down the Elite Four and become champions. I know we've had a lot of these guys a lot longer than that, but um, I think this is the smarter thing to do. I think, because I really don't think of anyone else we're going to get that's going to change my opinion this much. You know what I mean? So, I think this is it. And obviously I'll get them trained up eventually, but... For now, um, we do have another rival fight coming up, so I think I'll actually go train for a little bit and then fight our rival. 
Alright, so I trained up a little bit. Um, really just for stone free and juice to catch up to everyone else. And so we're all around level 44 now. And it's time to go to the Pokemon League. Or run into Gary. That's fine. <laughs> You're going to Pokemon League? Oh, you got all the badges? Cool, that's two. That is cool. I'll whip, then I'll whip you? Uh, yo, Gary, that's kind of racist, bro. We really, I thought we were done. Like, I knew you were a jerk, but like, I didn't think you were racist. Freeze, yeah. We already saw this coming. So that's why we got out. Hopefully, Freezia doesn't hit us with uh, Feather Dance and Intimidate. Alright, just Ice Beam. Uh, that'll do a decent amount of damage. And Alan would miss. That's fine. All I need is for Alan to hit this Iron Tail. That's fine. That, that's fine. You... You hit whenever you want to, I guess. Never mind. We got Mrs. Nolene. She'll she'll do your job for you. All right, and weed fumes. Okay, grass fire type. We already know that. Water poison is fine. Grass won't be super effective, but sludge will be. Too bad Juice has not learned Sludge Bomb. That'd be really good to learn. But, uh, but Juice does have Toxic, so... You know, we might have to mess around and find out... Ooh, that's not good for you. Mostly because Juice has Liquid Ooze. Oh, and I gave Juice Leftovers. So another thing, I might go back and buy a bunch of Leftovers because... Leftovers and choice scarves are really good for when you need them. Uh, juice? That's a lot of experience. Uh, a Frieza kid. So I figured out that this is literally just an ice fighting type. So let's see. Um, the only real problem is... Ice fight. Okay, so... It can't hit me with fighting time moves. So, Stone Free with Spell Blast should do the trick. I might want to teach, um. Juice Psychic at one point. Just because fighting is not very effective against, uh, poison. Honestly, Juice is actually a really effective, um. Pokemon against Freezekin, just because everything Freezekin has probably will not be able to hurt um, Juice that much, since Juice basically is not very effective against all of it. So, yeah, let's go ahead and finish off your Spell Blast, which is just Psychic Tri Attack, so it's actually really good. 2014. Oh, I'm Mineral. Okay, so. We'll, we'll put Chie out there. And I'll use Giga Drain. Actually, I can use Blood Seed now. Because I took off the Choice Band and gave Chie um, leftovers instead. Because Chie is a much more tanky Pokemon. So this it, it's the smarter thing to do. And honestly, as long as Chie hits three times here, we should be good. Uh, nice to know he also has a Toxic Staller. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure this will be his final team. Alright, good. Which means probably the next Pokemon that's coming out is the... Uh, Bug Alakazam. Yeah. So... Let's see. I would bring out Alan, but he's like super low in HP. Um, Asta has Blast Burn, and anything Alakazam can do to Asta shouldn't do too much damage. 
Uh, oh yeah, Wish, it gives you like half HP back at the, uh, at the end of the next turn, but... But, um... He didn't miss- he doesn't have any missing HP, so there's no reason to. I will say, now that we know that Porygon is a fire dragon type, I might want to go back and get him. Because fire dragon is a really good type, and especially since I don't actually have a fire type Pokemon. Alan is really good, but... A fire type Pokemon would be really good too. So anyway, he's bringing about Blast Toys, Steel Flying. So I think our best bet. Would probably I'll do Stone Free. I don't really know what they have because my Blastoise hasn't learned a single steel type move. And they can't crit me, so. Iron Slam. Oh, it's probably Body Slam, but for steel type Pokemon. Alright, if he uses that again. Okay. He'll probably use it again. So I'll go ahead and smush out the juice. Yeah, not very effective. Alright, good. Did not paralyze me this time either. Alright. So I'll just use Surf. Oh, Air Cutter. It's not going to do too much damage, but... So Iron Slam and Air Cutter. It probably has Protect as well. And is extremely tanky. Yeah, so we definitely need a Fire-type Pokemon. So that Porygon's looking... Looking pretty good. Although I wouldn't know how to evolve it. Probably with just a fire type, a fire stone or a Draco stone then, huh? Hopefully. Alright, so he's just gonna keep using air cutter. I know it has a high critical hit chance, I'm pretty sure, so... I don't want to lose juice this late into the game, so I'm definitely gonna heal up. And he didn't heal ups either, so I guess we are good to go. Alright. And that should be it. Yep. Ugh, I was just careless. You. What? That loosened me up. I'm ready for the Pokemon. Al, you need more practice. But hey, you know that? But hey, you know that. I'm out of here. Smell you later. Okay, so now, now I just have to heal. Alright, so after that rival fight, I had to grind up some money because Porygon is... 9,999 coins. So yeah, we're gonna take the Porygon. We know he's a dragon. You know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna call it Dragon Quest. Because it's, you know, it's pixely Pokemon. Dragon Quest is an old game series. So, you know what? I think this works quite fine. There we go. Huh? And he was placed in the PC. I think he's level 5, maybe? We'll see real quick. Oh, level 26. That's really specific. But yeah, Fire Dragon. Uh, sound Brew? Okay. That's... Could be a lot better. Sick. Oh, it already has Dragon Breath and Fire Breath. So, it already has two really good moves that it would need on it. So, honestly... Going in the party... I was grinding money and I thought maybe pickup items would be the fastest way to do it, but it wasn't working out that well. And yeah, I know we have temperature, but 
I'll use temperature if the people want me to, but um, I think I would like to use uh, I'd like to use Dragon Quest just because Porygon is one of my favorite Pokemon, and uh, it's very unique and very interesting. So let's see, what can Dragon Quest learn? Alright, none of those moves. Can I comma? No. Sunny Day might be good, but... Probably not. Oh, Sunny Day Solar Beam? On Dragon Quest? That might be a good combination. Also, Earthquake? I might teach it to Mrs... Well, actually, Mrs. Noleen just learned... I don't know what I want to do with all these teams. We're definitely going to have to use it before. I said I was going to teach uh, Juice Psychic, so I might as well just do that right now. Um, What move to get rid of? I'm thinking Brick Break, but that can be used, that can be really good for the Ice type. Since Ice type isn't super effective against water. Um. Oh, okay, I thought someone was able to learn it. But I don't know yet. Yeah, um, there's actually one more place we should probably go. Just because we can get two more Pokemon there if we're luckier than what we were with the Articuno. I'll put Dragon Quest in here and I'll train him up before we get to the Victory Road. But yeah, that place we can go to, um, actually, Lavender Town, and actually, nah, this should be fine. I'm gonna use Juice, come down here, I'm gonna ignore that guy because he's not even strong. We can go to the power plant. The power plant, it has some more Pokemon we can catch, obviously. A Weeping Bow, okay. A Grass Electric type. That's really good, actually. Um, let's make sure we don't kill it, though. Let's see. It's a Grass type, so... Giga Dream shouldn't hurt it very much. Uh, well, that's the perfect amount, actually, so... And yeah, I bought 100 Ultra Balls. Because... There should be no reason we get RNG screwed out of another Pokemon. Uh, the leafy parts act as cutters for slashing it. Foes, it spews lightning storms from its huge mouth. Lightning storms? Hmm... What should... Hmm... gonna name it Lars because in the in the Naruto Storm games in Naruto Storm 2 I believe uh, Lars had he had like electric powers for some reason oh you tell me it's, uh, it, uh, this always happens we could have gotten a Cyndaquil uh, but yeah Lars always has like these lightning powers for some reason. I don't know if, we, if he ever came back in those games, but at least I don't think he did. Uh, it probably brought him back in mods. Oh, we could have gotten a Beldum? That's a Steel Fire type. That's really good. Oh, Team 25 Thunder. Oh, we could learn that. Oh, Mrs. the Link. Put Chia up front just so I can. Oh, we could have gotten a Larvitar. That'd have been so good. Man, I'm just trying to get all the items. Oh, a Voltorb? I mean, Electro. 
weird. Ah. You could have gotten really good Pokemon from here, but like always, I get RNG screwed and we don't get them. Um, I know one of these is a Thunderstone, and the other one's just going to be a Voltorb. I mean, Electrode. Nothing here. Right, and we're at the end, and you get... Well, usually it's Zapdos you find in here, but... What is it going to be this time? The Rathdos. Okay. It... Is it a dark type? Oh, it has Intimidate. That's pretty good. So, it's probably a dark type, right? So, Asta? Okay, well, it has Agility. Uh, we'll just use Dragon Breath. Yep, it's 100% a dark type. So it's a dark flying. Usually it has drill pet, but you know, I probably should have thought about that. So we don't want to send out Mrs. Nolene. Oh. Uh, Alan should be fine actually. Is it only gonna use faint attack? Because if it it is, I might switch back into Asta to see if we can. Paralyze it. Nope, drill pick, not bringing out Asta. I think I took him out when I did. Alright, so one more hit should be fine. And then. Start chucking Pokeballs in. Or not, okay. Well, I was trying to, but. I guess no one. I guess they didn't want me to catch it after all. Oh well. Uh, we still got a good Pokemon out of it. Alright, but yeah. Um, so, the next time I see you guys, we're going to be going through um, Victory Road. So we can... Um, so we can go to the Pokemon League. So yeah, by then, I'll get everyone grinded up in all that fun stuff. And uh, Porygon will... Uh, become Porygon 2, hopefully. And, yeah, other than Alan, I'm gonna bring Chie, Mrs. Nolene, Asta, Stone Free, and Juice with Porygon. So, I think that'll be a really good team. So, uh, if you guys like the video, go ahead and leave a like. Comment, it's good for the YouTube algorithm. Uh, if you want more comment like this, uh, more content like this subscribe and like always i will see you when i see you